Well, welcome back to Weather Command. I'm Stephen Morgan. Hey there, I'm Craig Herrera. And the countdown is on. If you're not thinking about it, you need to. Because everyone in the country is going to see this, but will it be in its totality? Well, that's for you to decide. A history-making astronomical event is scheduled. In less than two weeks, the entire sky is going to dim for nearly four minutes for millions along the past. The path, the moon's going to eclipse the sun, and it's a four minute, might not sound like a long time path of totality, but to experience it, it is. For people who've traveled to see it, uh, four minutes is, is a decent uh, time period. The 2017 eclipse, it lasted a little less than three minutes. Some only last 30 seconds. So the four minute long period, will take it. The, the talk about the eclipse, of course, it's the, to experience it, but what do you feel? The temperature, for example, it could drop a few degrees once the moon begins to eclipse the sun. The spectacular event, it's only going to be that if clouds don't spoil the, the, the sight or, or the fun. The temperature has, has been talked about. Even talking to people, they say, yeah, so is it true that the temperature will drop <laughs> when you're in the path of totality? And yeah, research suggests that, that you can have a notable temperature drop. It depends on the time of year, though. You know, you think of a desert climate. Yeah. And if, if the path of totality would eclipse uh, the desert in the middle of summer, yeah. you'll get a notable yeah. temperature Dry drop, air, right? right? Dry air, that leads to, to an impact. So a lot of these mm -hmm. things. But then we've got the clouds. And the I think clouds. that that's going to be the biggest thing. Temperatures, it's maybe something you feel or sense. But if there are clouds in the way, Craig, oh. it's a problem. We were talking, and there is this recent study. It was published in the journal Nature. And it claims that the title of the study, clouds dissipate quickly during solar eclipses. And, and, and that's mainly because the land, it cools. And if you just have a nice day outside and you're not dealing with a big storm system with an area of low pressure, and you get those fair weather cumulus clouds, if we get an eclipsing sun, the research specifically says clouds will begin to dissipate when only 15% of the sun is covered. So just at the beginning of the eclipse, in theory, according to the study, if we had a few clouds, they would begin maybe to dissipate. But just a few clouds, right? But just a few. Because <laughs> if we had a lot of clouds, it's not enough time. And I think it, it also <laughs> doesn't consider if we've got this big area of low pressure, yeah. a cold front, something yeah. that's, that's causing the air to really be turbulent in our atmosphere. Yeah. And oftentimes what leads to the development of clouds, well, then it's all bets off. Right. And I think that that's the, the concerning thing. It, it's fascinating, though, because when to consider this study, the satellite cloud measurements, they were observed during three different solar eclipses between 20, 2005 and 2016. And, and once totality occurred, there was about a 50-minute lag time mm. before clouds started to return. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah, th there, there's this nice thought, but in reality, this is from our Fox Forecast Center. Uh, we wish it were a little better. Yeah. But after all, we're in April. Yeah, it's true. And what's it tell me? The farther south you are, the better, better your chance. shot. Yeah, better shot. You know, If you booked a place in maybe close to St. Louis, maybe you're like, uh, can I still move to Dallas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because there's a better chance for places in Texas. Got to consider a lot of things. Not only fly because those are booking up fast. Hotels. I mean, yeah, you need the Airbnb, accommodations, uh, the car rental, <laughs> all that. I mean, there have been even already disaster declarations, <laughs> yeah. states of emergencies oh, that's right. issued in, Smaller in Texas towns. ahead of the, the tourists. Yeah. But Fox Weather, we are your destination for America's total eclipse. We will have full coverage up to and during that cross-country event. Find out how to stream us live at foxweather.tv.